Space Niggers, back again, back again. I've cut a day's break, but we're back on track now. But today we have for you is Manjaro, yeah, latest Manjaro, but this one with LXDE as its desktop interface. Now remember, LXDE means Litex Desktop Environment, just in case you didn't know, and it runs really, really quick. Apart from that, underneath there's not too much difference, although I have noticed some problems, okay? And I'll let you know as we go. I will actually report these to the Manjaro site, but I haven't just got around to doing it just yet. I'll quickly go through the menu review, bear in mind it's LXDE, so it's like that. It's just the way it is, okay? Under accessories, you get the usual. They still have 7-zip in here. Your stuff for your printers, HP printers are cool, so if you've got a HP printer, it'll work super fun. Gimpy as standard, I'll open it up for you just to quickly show, it's going to be a really short video. It is 2.8, so it's the latest and greatest, lovely chubbly. First time I've actually loaded it up, so it will be a little bit slower than normal. As you can see down the car, it's doing some stuff. Hello, you doing some stuff down there? Yes, it's just doing stuff, man. This is the old dual core machine, by the way. Before I even go into anything else, come on, dual core, you can do it. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, done. I thought that was a bit slower than the XFC one, really, but hey, what do I know? And that's hiding over there. I don't want that then, do we? No. Okay, that's enough of that. Okay, what else do I have for you? Right, under intranet or internet, we have your server browser and your VNC stuff. Firefox is your basic browser. Pigeon, a remote desktop viewer. Skype as standard. Chunderbird and XChat. Okay. We'll open Firefox up. There is a shortcut on the bottom bar, as you can see. Remember, you can customize it as you wish. It's not as easy as XFC to customize, but it is possible. And here's the version we're using is Manjaro 0.8.2 LXD Edition, which has been released a day or two before I've just done the video, basically. Apart from that, it's super duper. Now, I will tell you what problems I've had. Oh, by the way, let's go and do a different page first. Make sure it's all working hunky dory. Look, nice and quickage. Lovely, super of the duper. It's super in, lovely. BBC's there, nice. Apparently Flash is pre-installed, so lovely jubbly. I'm not going to show you a video today. No, I'm not. No, for a simple reason. It's a short one. It's very, very similar to the XFCE version. Remember, you can get KDE and GNOME as well. I'm not sure if I'm going to do videos on them. It all depends how much time I have myself. What's going to do? Oh, yeah. Under Office, you get LibreOffice. Calc and Writer only, okay? Calc and Writer only. Under programming, you get the QT stuff, as usual, in the other one. Sound and video, okay. You get a music player, your music player, which is LX music player, okay. You get PN mixer, which is an audio mixer for the tray, but it uses pulse audio. Right, now this is where I had the problemo, okay. Under pulse, pulse audio, it had trouble finding my USB microphone. And I had to go and edit the config file. Oh, yeah, no. It was under 0, 1, and I needed it under 0, 0, I think. One or the other. That was a bit of a bummer, but if you've got an ordinary microphone that goes through your sound card, not USB, it should be hunkily of the dory. You also get XF Burn, does what it says on a tin, and SM Player for Plan and Bidfos. You will have to install your own codecs, by the way. Under System Tools, okay, g of course. And of course you get the GUIs of Pac-Man and the Pac-Man Browser. So if I just go to Pac-Man Browser, for instance, let's wait for it to open up. Okay, say you wanted to find, for instance, Clementine. And there's Clementine. If we highlight it, it tells you all about it. Remember, it's the old, uh, it's the old music player that's really, really good that I use on the XFC one. I've still got the XFC version on the old single core machine. It's running really nice. No big deal. So as you can see here, if you did install it, you would want GStreamer plugins, okay, and maybe some more, maybe Lame as well, and a bit of Lame going down, a bit of Flat going down, whatever you want to do. Okay, super duper. I'm not going to install it. No, no, I'm not. No, 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 no. Okay. Pet system tools. <clears throat> you also get your task manager. So I'll open it up quickly for you because it's a really, really quick video. I'm only using 100 megabytes of my RAM and my CPU is asleep, basically, isn't it? Yeah. So if you like the idea of Manjaro, but you want an even lighter desktop, okay, even lighter than you've already got, the XFC, sorry, the LXD version is the one for you. Because of the audio problems I had with my mic, I'm not going to give it as good a score as I did the other one. So this one, I'm only going to give 85%. But on top of that, it's really super duper. Not more much you can say. Sneaky Linux out. I'll see you later. Bye bye.